Master Christ, my Lord. The only way to meet my God. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. He washed away my sins. Open your spiritual eyes and change from an old identity to a new one. Then they scoffed, he's just a carpenter, the son of Mary and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, and his sisters live right here among us. They were deeply offended and refused to believe in him. Mark chapter 6 verse 3 Jesus went to his hometown, a small town called Nazareth. His disciples also followed him. When the Sabbath came, Jesus taught the word of God in the synagogue. When many people heard what Jesus said, they were surprised and said this, Wow, this is such an amazing message. How on earth did this person acquire such wisdom and amazing power? However, the people of Jesus' hometown, whose spiritual eyes had been blinded, could not believe in Jesus as the Messiah and were only seeing Jesus with their physical eyes. He is the son of Mary. He used to work as a carpenter. He is the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon. That's right, he's the son of a carpenter who lives in our neighborhood. As they were spiritually blind and controlled by the prince of this earth, they thought of Jesus only as a son of a carpenter who lived in their neighborhood. Even when Jesus said, Talitha kum, get up and walk, they couldn't understand what he said. Moreover, they did not believe that he was the son of God who would save them and destroy the work of the devil. When Jesus saw that they were insensitive to the spiritual world, he said this, A prophet is not respected in his hometown by his relatives or in his home. He could not perform any miracles there, so he only laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. Reading today's scripture of Mark 6, 1-6, the people of Jesus' hometown were blind and made a big mistake. Their mistake was that they did not believe that Jesus is the Christ of Genesis 3.15 and instead laughed at him, rejected him, and ultimately failed to receive salvation. When spiritually blind, we cannot overcome the diseases that come to our bodies, the darkness and emptiness that seep into our minds, the disaster and chaos that take over this world. We have an old identity and a new identity. Old identity refers to the state in which a person's body is taken over by an unclean spirit. So Jesus Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15 came to this world to save us from our old identity where we were slaves to Satan all our lives controlled by the original sin of leaving God, and gave us a new identity. John 1 12, to those who received him, to those who believed in Christ's name, he gave the power to become children of God. So, this spiritual fight to drive out the unclean spirits that are controlling us so we don't believe in the spiritual world with the old identity and not engrave the words of God into our hearts is God's way of changing us into a new identity. Do you want to open your spiritual eyes and change from the old identity with unclean spirits to the new identity with Christ?
Christ, who came as the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15? If so, you must believe in three things and practice spiritual warfare. 1 John 3.8 The devil keeps making us ignorant of the spiritual world by making us only think about our flesh. So first, the work of the devil that gives us unbelief must be destroyed by the power of Christ the King of Kings. Mark 10.45 We must feel the love of our Redeemer Jesus Christ who brought us out of the bondage of fate bound by Satan and used the power of Christ to heal all diseases and weaknesses. John 14.6 Every time I call on the name of Christ who is the way to meet God, the truth and the life, which is the same yesterday, today and forever, my spirit and body will be healed. So shall we all confess the 7 seconds miracle? Jesus is the Christ. I am a child of God. All problems are gone. Satan be gone. Filled with the Holy Spirit. World evangelization. To the ends of the earth. I will be your witness. Throughout this week, we must only be filled with the Holy Spirit to open our eyes to the spiritual world. Knowing that the prince of this world is the devil, I will use the power of Jesus Christ of Genesis 3.15 who crushed Satan's head on my body. I bless you to become the charismatic model of the gospel who changes from the old identity to the new identity, to become the conqueror who changes the era. Almighty God, thank you for letting me open my spiritual eyes and accept Christ to change from my old identity that was possessed by evil spirit to a new identity in which Christ resides. Fill me with the Holy Spirit so that I will continue to engage in the spiritual battle of using Christ's power that heals every disease and sickness in my body to be the spiritual summit who saves the 237 nations all around the world. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.